Hey, so I'm shooting this quick video to talk about a new series that I'm launching, a new video series. And this is going to be called the AMA series. And what it is, it's going to be every week, at least for now, every week, I'll be shooting a video answering a question from subscribers on my Substack and my email list. So the reason I'm launching this series is because I get a lot of people sending me questions every day through email. And the, the way that I typically answer it is I'll just write an email responding to it. But I feel like it could also give some useful context if I shoot a video and go over the best questions of the week. I also want to selfishly grow the Substack. So what I'm going to do is it's only going to be available to people who subscribe to the Substack or who, who are subscribed to my list. So what's going to happen is there's going to be a separate post and it'll be the AMA section. And there's going to be some kind of form there where you can submit your question. I'm going to look through those questions and answer the best question or questions of the week in a video form. I'll send that out through Substack here. And then I'm also going to send it out to my list. And it'll be a video of me, a short video of me answering the question and giving more context into whatever the question was. So the Substack, if you want to subscribe to the Substack and make sure that you don't miss any of these videos in any future posts, go to emailrainmaker.com and subscribe there. Or if you're already on my email list or you want to subscribe to my email list, my daily email list, it's at seananthony.co. Okay, so these videos, most of them are going to be private videos on my YouTube channel. I might publicly release a few of them. So you're only going to get access to this or know the link to this if you're a subscriber to my Substack or to my email list. So for this first AMA session, the question we're answering, I actually already answered it in a LinkedIn post, but I felt like it would be a good thing to address here because this is a question I get a lot. So this came in from a content creator and he had an audience, of, I want to say around 40,000 or so people. And he was concerned, so this was his question. He was concerned about selling versus providing value. So his question was, I read your one email a day post, I'm intrigued, but how do we balance selling versus providing value in our emails? I have a lot to share and obviously I wanna make money, but I'm worried about annoying people. So this is a question that comes up a lot. I think with content creators especially, this is the number one thing that holds them back from posting because they don't wanna piss their people off. But the thing about, selling versus providing value, it's not an either or. You can do both of them in one email or one post. And so what you're gonna notice with a lot of my emails is or and posts is that they're pretty meta. Usually what happens is I teach something or I provide some kind of insight. And as I'm providing the insight, I'm actually demonstrating it as well. So providing value, no one really talks about like what exactly that means. One of the ways you can provide value is giving insights from personal experience. If you do that, you are providing value as long as you're talking about something that matters to the reader. So for my stuff, as an example, I talk a lot about email marketing and copywriting. That's why a lot of people join my list or they follow me on LinkedIn or any of the other platforms. So whenever I talk about these things, I get sales and I get higher response rates because people care about email marketing and copywriting or that that's what they're following me for. So when I talk about it, I am providing value and I can sell by just inviting them if if they want more help with their emails or selling or their copywriting, I invite them to work with me. OK, that's the selling part of it. So I'm doing both providing value and selling in one email or one post. Now, here's the email version. I don't always sell or have links on or a CTA on social media posts, but I usually do on my emails. So you can see here, I'm talking about providing value. I'm giving an insight in the first section of the email. And at the end of the email, I have an invitation to work with me. So if you want unlimited one-on-one -on -one help from me on revving up your email sales machine, check out my email Rainmaker Elite program. Then fill out this short app if you want to join us. So I'm providing an insight. How do you know the balance between selling and providing value in your emails? That's the insight. I also give an example of one of my other clients, Matt, who went through this same situation. So it's not just my insight. It's, it's from a client that has gone through this process himself, right? So Matt, LinkedIn stud, 140,000 followers. He fits this bucket as well, right? He didn't know the balance between selling and providing value. So all we did when we started working together was invite people to work with him. And we filled 19, 19 spots in his first iteration of his cohort based course. So check out Matt, give him a follow. Um, he's just, he's really good at social media content and he has 10 times the followers I do. So if you want to grow your 
social media audience, then I would follow him, especially if it's LinkedIn. So that's what I mean by selling and providing value. It doesn't have to be an either or. You can do both of them in every email if you do it correct. And you can see here, it's not super aggressive either. It's just, in this case, it's in the PS. Sometimes I'll put it directly here before the sign off. But all it is, it's an invitation to work with me on the thing I just talked about in the email, right? Hey, if you want help with your emails, then check this out. And this just links to a video that I shot. Okay, so this is like a, a video sales letter, I guess. So that is my answer, selling versus providing value. You can do both, it's not an either or. Provide insights from personal experience, talk about something the reader wants, then invite them to work with you if they want more help. Okay, so that's AMA session one. If you wanna ask another question, make sure that you go to the Substack and subscribe, emailrainmaker.com. There will be some kind of post or link where you can submit it through a form and I'll see you in the next video.